गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन स्वाति हियर फ्रॉम एमटेक्स ग्राउंड एंड वी आर एट टैग्यूटेक्स स्टॉल मिस्टर कृष्णन इज विथ अस टू टेल अस अबाउट द प्रोडक्ट्स दैट द कंपनी इज डिस्प्ले दिस एमटेक्स वी हैव सेवरल एक्साइटिंग न्यू सोल्यूशंस विच वी आर डिस्प्लेइंग हियर स्टार्टिंग विथ टर्निंग देर सेवरल न्यू ग्रेड्स चिप ब्रेकर्स टूल होल्डिंग सिस्टम्स हैवी ड्यूटी टर्निंग सिस्टम्स miniature our rhino range is also got expanded so you have very big large bouquet of solutions for turning moving to grooving we have two cutting edge three cutting edge four cutting edge standard special solutions tools with internal coolant without internal coolant depending upon the application today we can offer customer either a standard or a customized solution to solve the problem coming to let us say applications like drilling hole making is a whole new area for us we have really concentrated in the last 5 years several new products have come in hole hole making be it a short hole drilling long hole drilling smaller diameter larger diameter spade drill drill rush twin rush there are several several drilling solutions now in our bouquet to solve problems from automotive to general engineering milling again is a very very big area today what we have done in milling is that uh, we are not offering one solution for all customers for each industry depending upon the depth of cut machines they have depending upon the parameter of machining we have different solutions available but aim of all the solution is to improve the productivity and reduce the tool cost that are two areas like industry oriented solutions we have two display units which focus on industry oriented solutions we have picked up some of the emerging industries like orthopedic implant machining tools for making these orthopedic implants aerospace components power sector turbines and turbine related components these are all very customized solutions impeller how to machine impeller in general engineering we have milling cutters which can make big gear boxes gears etc we have automotive solutions break solutions all the solutions are on display so our visitors customers can quickly understand and take back an idea to their own shop floor to improve productivity and reduce the cost right what has been the footfall for of the visitors here but this simtex um, uh, thanks to starting on republic day dip simtex has been uh, exceptional in the sense that normally on the day one we get about 5 6 000 very limited crowd but this time even on day one we had an excellent footfall last three days today also looks like exceptional day i believe over the weekend we'll have very large crowd and, and despite the uh, let's say a uh, uh, little bit of a bump in the business here and there in the month of november and december customer seems to be very very optimistic and people are looking for new solutions that's a very good sign remember was it due to the demonetization or was it, that was a one of the reasons we are, we are still not able to understand since the trigger that happened around that time was demonetization we are presuming this blip of a little bit of a dip which happened in the month of let's say december and january largely is probably triggered by this automotive production two wheeler production is down by about 30 40% and you have automotive production down by 20% but they are all very we believe it's a small blip i am very sure that in the month of february march things will start getting corrected and then we'll start seeing the growth again see from a point of view of cutting tool company our own manufacturing impact we really don't know what is the rate at which gst is going to come for our industry we believe it may not really make a big difference to cutting tool manufacturing company the impact can be plus minus 1% kind of a variation but what we are looking at gst is it to probably is going to improve the ease of doing business compliance issues are going to be much much easier so that way gst we are looking at it as a big and our customers are going to be more competitive if our customers are going to be more competitive then automatically demand goes up business grows up in india but apart from that which are the other industries that you are looking uh, or you, you project that would grow in the future see the if we look at the uh, the major segment of metal cutting industry automotive in india probably contributes something like about 60 60% of uh, metal cutting auto auto components 
if leaving aside auto and auto components if you look at the other industries you have power and general engineering which is very large you have railways which is emerging to be very very large we also have aerospace which is very small currently by contribution but however growing very very rapidly in the time to come aerospace will also become a very important industry but none that very largely metal cutting industry is dependent on automotive and auto component industry but uh, you mentioned about aerospace so aerospace industry is way, way different from automotive it's uh, it has a, it's completely a different game so uh, look at uh, the uh, speciality of aerospace industry in order to be successful in aerospace industry we need to have a different mindset first of all automotive mindset will not work in aerospace industry materials are very unique customer requirements are very unique gestation times are very large Com components are very complicated value addition is very very high so consequently if this country needs to be more successful in aerospace industry which it can be there is no problem at all because aerospace industry has a large engineering component inside we have people we have engineers available in the country i am very sure we are prepared but this alone will not make us successful we need to develop those competencies which are required to machine how to machine difficult to uh, machine items how to machine uh, uh, five axis kind of component complicated programming techniques fixturings which need to be very unique for this so those competencies will have to grow together only then we'll really become a dominant force there so uh, the other area is defense a defense as a sector in the country for a long time but it was dominated very largely by public sector undertaking now the difference what we are probably looking at in future is that private sector will get into defense although a lot of announcements are getting made in terms of real demand coming from private sector defense industry yet to pick up they are all in the formative stage but if we probably answer this question 5 years from now i am sure it will be a very significant corporate